everyday life would end at that temperature. You can tolerate it for a while, not being very productive, and then you can not tolerate it. For Owen Dillon, working up a sweat is nothing new. Currently training for the Bondi to Manly Ultra Marathon. They usually do over a bit over 100 kilometres per week. But he's about to push his body to the limit in a whole new way. All right, beautiful. Volunteering to sit in a climate chamber and let scientists crank it up to a range of conditions they believe are lethal. This one is 54 degrees, 26.2% relative humidity. So it's definitely that kind of scorching, hot, um, drier heat compared to, to the other conditions that we have. The idea? To probe the limit of the body's ability to cool itself. We are the first to actually put people in these environments to actually see, you know, physiologically what is happening to their core temperature, to, to their heart rate. And we're off. It's officially started. Yeah, it's cooking in there for sure. You can see they're starting to feel it. They don't look all too happy. As the world warms, the researchers say the question of how hot is too hot is more important than ever. Heat waves are one of the most dangerous natural weather hazards worldwide. This summer, in just one city, more than 1,300 pilgrims died during the Hajj. The warmer it gets globally, we see a much higher increase in these non-survivable days. It may not look like the participants are doing much, but their bodies are working overtime, losing litres of sweat to try stay cool. Research suggests after six hours, their core temperature will reach a point no person can survive. The reason that you would die is because of heat stroke, and heat stroke takes time to develop. Okay, that's hot. Um, I was just in there for 30 minutes. The only symptom I really felt, I think, was my heart beating a little bit faster just in the time that I was in there, but it was incredibly hot. And I'm, honestly, it's actually quite frightening to think what it would be like to experience that outside of a controlled setting. The conditions inside the climate chamber are rare in real life. Only three places have reached them before and only for brief periods. But the researchers think in some climates, we might be overestimating what the limit is. So we don't want to be sleepwalking into a scenario where we think that these future conditions are going to be survival when in fact they're not going to be. After two and a half hours, Owen's core temperature hits the safety limits. He's climbing faster than her, he's just surpassed her. He's removed early a valuable insight for the researchers. But we can see even today, they got hotter than they were at the end of three hours of the last trial. And for the guinea pig. It's made me a lot more aware of the balance between temperature and humidity, how that's going to impact your ability to perform. And now I can look at a weather forecast and say for sure that I will not go running that day. Tyne Logan, ABC News.